Immortalized in stone just feet away from the site of his greatest achievements. People here remembering the coach, Jack Henses. I believe that he put up a standard of excellence that all of our athletic department strives for. It's a sad day for our community and uh, he's going to be uh, sorely missed. Mark Finan is the athletic director here at Dunmore High School. We spoke near the school's trophy cases, the ones filled with championship trophies earned during the Henses era. And outside, on the field house, the numbers, the years, the wins, the unforgettable seasons at the top. Of course, Coach Henses will be remembered for his more than 400 wins on football fields just like this one here at Dunmore High School, but that only tells part of the Jack Henses tale. Frank Padula knows the rest of the story. He was an assistant coach under Jack Henses during the 70s. The Henses legacy is more than wins. He, he encouraged kids to do the right thing and, 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 uh, and he educated kids that way. Athletic Director Finan echoes that feeling. Coach Henses turned out good student athletes and quality young people. It's the impact he had on the kids is what his legacy is gonna be. There's so many lives he touched. And when it comes right down to it, former coach Padula believes Henses leaves a lasting mark on the borough. He was a hell of a guy. Uh, he was just a great asset to our community, great football coach, and uh, uh, above all, a super person. Between Wyoming Area High School and Dunmore High, Henses patrolled the sidelines for more than 50 years, racking up 444 wins. Jack Henses was 87 years old. Andy Palumbo, Newswatch 16, Dunmore.